Hello everyone, my name is Femi Sola. If you do not know that, um, yeah, I don't know what you've been. I don't know what you've been doing. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Um, hello everyone, my name is Femi. Um, yeah, a lot happened in the past year or so and about to address that anyway this video is just for me to share my testimony of i don't even know it's just a lot of stuff <laughs> uh, a lot of mind stuff a lot of mental stuff um yeah so that's why i'm doing this um i put up a blog post in my blog um my written blog post which is I am looking at it right here on my iPad. I'm going to use this to basically share the testimony because this is in words. And I wanted to do a video. Um, One, just to get back to doing videos again. And two, um, what am I saying? <laughs> One, to get back to doing videos again. And also um, to buttress everything I said. Um yeah so my blog um the blog post i wrote was titled i have prayed for you that you do not hmm. i have prayed for you dots 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 that your feet may not fail and these are quotations because they're bible they're from the bible and basically it's unpacking 2022 finally um and i wrote the blog post on the 24th of january and it was like it took 24 days into the new year for me to actually come to a resolution of 2022. And that's what we're talking about. So I'm going to kind of read what I read on blog post and we'll go from there. So it took 24 days into the new year to be able to confront the audio I faced last year. Um, if you do not know, I actually am quite grammatic. And so you might think that will be my reading. <laughs> Um, to be able to confront the audio I faced last year and put to and put words to what my mind went through. Last year, I felt I was losing myself, and in part, I was. I was changing again, and this time, it felt uncomfortable and disorienting. I was in a tug of war with myself and was wrestling with God about it. This was all going on in grad school, both semesters in twenty twenty two. Um, I was in therapy and my therapist had, one, uh, had once asked me if I didn't expect grad school to be had and I like I did expect grad school to be had but I don't think it's just, the problem is grad school I feel like grad school was just like a catalyst like a I don't even know yeah to what happened so the major thing I overcame was being self-critical and yeah, so even before I started grad school, I was already self-critical. I was, like, questioning my acceptance to the school and my achievements and my qualifications and all that stuff. And it is one thing for a person to condemn you. It's, it's one thing for people to say negative things about you. But you see, self-condemnation, that is a whole... That is a demonic spirit. It's just put it like that and it's different from like knowing that you have negative things but like when you start questioning your identity in christ that is a red black all the colors of the rainbow flag <laughs> that is a red flag a gigantic red flag um anyway that's me being dramatic again <laughs> um so being in a new place like moving to a new place for grad school made it easier to stay in my head a lot so i was overthinking and overanalyzing every single thing like even the things that didn't need to be overanalyzed i would analyze it um what people were thinking what people were not thinking what i was doing what i wasn't doing um like if i said i wanted to do something and i eventually ended up not doing it because of some of you were even like my own bad habits. 
some of it were like just not having the time because again <laughs> graduate school and yeah it was I don't know it was a lot and I ended up being disappointed in myself a lot and then yeah and things not working out and yeah I became angry at God about how I was I don't even know how I was dealing with stuff because I felt like he didn't again like nobody could see what I was going through and God was not acting like he could see what I was going through and so I felt not seen and not loved but I think what helped me was let's say the word of God like but God but God's word <laughs> um yeah like if anything i think god's word helped me a lot i feel like if i if there was no if god didn't really speak like if god was silent you know the silence the people fell from old testament to new testament i feel like that's what that's kind of how i feel for like just a second that was how i felt uh, um but luckily for us we have scriptures so <laughs> thank jesus for that um yeah and the fishy part was when i started like questioning like why salvation was easy why we all we needed to do was just like repent and confess that jesus is lord in this situation and all of that stuff and i was like this is just too easy like i need to like walk and do something like i needed to like and grace right and yeah i was going through that as well again <laughs> um mm -hmm. and then oh i was panicked a lot i didn't even this was this one was irrational and stupid um but i don't want to say stupid because that kind of negates that kind of downplays how I was actually feeling. Like, I felt panicked a lot of the time. And I felt like I would go outside and somebody could kidnap me or somebody could, like, attack me from somewhere and nobody would know. It was difficult to sleep because, again, I was overthinking a lot. Like, I didn't have insomnia, but, like, it took a long time for me to fall into sleeping. Maybe that's what insomnia is. I don't know. I don't really know all these psychological terms like that, but it took a while for me to sleep. I couldn't sleep without light and sound for a good while. Like, <laughs> I needed, like, rain sounds to sleep and all that. So, a lot, yeah. Um, yeah. And then, I, there were times that I would, like, hmm. If something, like, if I slept now, I didn't wake up. Like, nobody would know. Like, it would take probably, like, two, three days. <laughs> Also, I mean, like, we've not seen this girl or heard from this girl in a while. Like, I was thinking stupid, fearful, like, thoughts all the time. Like, the fear was real. Like, I have, I have felt, how would I put this? I have felt, like, the weight of God's presence before. This was, like, the opposite. This was, like, there is, like, a heavy blanket of i don't even know what that was just weighing me down in a way and yeah that was going on um yeah i genuinely felt like the enemy was trying to like bully me was trying to like shake me especially like in my knowledge of christ which is why i said like hmm, man shall not need by bread alone by the word of god because you just need it um yeah and i just thank god for like being a a solid rock on which we can stand like is what's that what's that aim all of the ground is sinking sand and i have to stand on christ the solid rock because if not i will have sinked in the sand <laughs> um but yeah I'm grateful for the victory that we have in Jesus. And I mean, oh, how the Holy Spirit carried me through. I'm saying the Holy Spirit carried me through because 
everything feels like a blur. My brain has done a very good job, if I must say, in suppressing a lot of the bad times, a lot of the bad and down moments. Um, I see, mm, yeah, my brain, yeah, I was in autopilot a lot of the time, especially because I'm in school, like, even when I, even therapy, I was hesitant too, because I felt like therapy is work. Like, you have to walk through everything you're feeling through. And I was like, I don't think I have time to be walking through <laughs> feelings when there's, there's like, projects, exam going on, like, yeah. So, yeah, this just thank God. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I feel like the Holy Spirit really helped me, like, carried me through, like, he, like, carried me through it um then yeah i felt like i was coasting sometimes and it felt easier to like stay there than like walk through like it it was it, it felt easier like to just stay in that like depressed fearful state than to like walk out of it i don't know if there's other words to use but yeah, and I'm sharing this because one, I need to share my testimony in order to move on and just see healing against fear, against identity issues and self criticism and trying to be the one to like always be there for yourself. Um, yeah. And I think remembrance is an important thing. Um and I do not want to forget what God saw me through, what God led me through, and how his rod and his staff comforted me in everything. It was a pro- it was like my banner, it was my protection, it was everything. Like there was a time I had vertigo, and vertigo is like when like if you stand, everything seems to be spinning. And I in that state, I drove myself to the (laughs) urgent care everything was spinning and i was driving to the urgent care do you know how dangerous that is nobody knows this except for me but yeah and that was due to stress and maybe there was something lodged in my ear or something but i legit could not stand without like feeling like the world was spinning god is good um (laughs) Um, but yeah, I do not want, I do not want to forget what God saw me through. And I'm like, the enemy wanted to save me like wait, but the Lord prayed for me. And it was difficult to also like pray intelligible prayers, like like put into words what I was feeling. Because like when you're praying in your understanding, you need to understand what you're going through. But I don't understand what I'm going through. This is where I had to like pray in the spirit a lot and acknowledge the fact that jesus is our mediator and intercessor and the the reason why we have the holy spirit is because sometimes we do not in fact know what to pray for and so yeah um that was that was just the ability to go through that was like the evidence of like the word of god is alive and is true and is sifting through the bone and the marrow and the joint the deepest part of the soul like this girl is in the trenches I'm going to pull out of it. Um, but yeah. And importantly, like being able to just share it with um, my choicest friends. Um, yeah, I don't do that. And I just want to thank God. Because we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Like we don't just conquer. We are more than that. And that is just evident of God's love towards us. Sometimes I'm like, why do you love us so much that we already have victory even before we walk through the things that we will walk through in life um but yeah i am sharing my testimony just to express god's evidence evidence grace evidence faithfulness is love is care like i am in fact seen i am in fact loved by god um before i was even in my mother's womb god had loved me god had known me and so it's just comforting to know that and also to know that we have access to a strength that is far greater than us like the probability that if i was trying to go through that in my own strength there's no even probability like i couldn't have (laughs) i feel like i would have 
really like sank to the lowest part of me if I had left myself to my own strength. And I had to learn how to not do that. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'm like, in hindsight, I would tell myself to like rest in God. Jesus said on the cross, it is finished. There is a reason he said it is finished. All the struggle that we're doing in this life, it is finished. <laughs> and so I would tell myself that in hindsight. Um, and honestly, I haven't dug too deep because I don't want to. It's scary. <laughs> it is scary to try and do that. But I think it was a good test. It was a good revealer of just the power and the presence of God. And how like Psalm 91 is is the hmm, 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 yeah how Psalm 91 really really is true it is true that God will rescue you if you abide under his shadow and that is presence. It is true. Um, hmm, hold that song. It is true. The evidence is everywhere. My confidence is growing. Out of room on my... Anyway. Um, but yeah, you should check out my blog post if you wanted to. Because I just wanted to overcome the fear of being in front of a camera again. And I think faith and hope are two of some of the greatest mm, some of the greatest things we have as Christians as people living in a fallen and broken and sad and yeah and <laughs> and God knows what's going on in the world world <laughs> um but yeah, I am so grateful to God I was able to go through that. Um, yeah, not I. He was able to carry me through that um, and just be back to myself again. So yeah, that's my testimony. Thanks for listening. Thanks for giving me your ears. Thanks for giving me your eyes to watch this and read my book and all that stuff. Um, on to the next things are that, I don't know. I announced paint. Can't even talk again. I announced paint milk, which is a design studio that I am going to be beginning. Um, if you do not know, I am an artist and a designer, and also an engineer. I'm an engineering student. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing in my life, but God knows. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So we're starting that this year and we'll see how that goes it's a lot of the plans but at the end of the day the lord is the one that orders our steps um but we're gonna work towards those plans and yeah and hope that the lord blesses us and blesses it and gives us ideas and all those things amen anyway thanks for watching my video till next time bye I like your mini.